Steve Guy. Uh, well, what you can say about him? Tireless. He has been fighting and fighting and fighting continuously. For as long, the first time I heard the name a number of years ago, he's been fighting. He's continuing to fight and he's always fighting for the right stuff. Steve Guy. Yay! Relax, uh, following that is going to be a bit difficult, uh, but I'll do my best. Uh, Steve Guy, uh, local activist, Unite member, uh, working up at Gatwick. Uh, the, U the NHS is safe with us. It sounds uh, almost uh, as uh, sincere in Cameron's mouth as it does in, uh, in uh, Maggie Thatcher's mouth. Uh, and I think that uh, we all remember what, uh, what happened when Thatcher was here. And certainly, ever since the condemned government came in, uh, they have set about dismantling the NHS. Their plans are already in place. The Lansley Bill was, uh, was already being formulated. And even before uh, the Lansley Bill went through Parliament and, uh, and uh, became uh, legally enacted, uh, we know that they were uh, setting about services in, in the NHS up and down the country. The privatisation of a whole hospital in East Anglia. Uh, the the attempt to uh, to get 20 hospital trusts to, to secede from the NHS uh, down in the southwest. All these all these things aren't just uh, uh, happening uh, uh, sort of willy nilly. This is all part of a general plan, a general campaign to dismantle the NHS. Uh, and, but with with the attacks has come the resistance that, as has been referred to before, there have been acts of resistance up in uh, up in Yorkshire where admin workers in unison have struck against attempts to carve up their section. Uh, there's this ambulance workers uh, for Unite uh, being prepared to take action in the attempt to de-recognise their union and carve up uh, their, their, their particular ambulance uh, service. So with these are the things that have inspired us locally uh, to, to set, set up the Defend the NHS so that whenever they uh, try and outsource a department, whenever they try and cut a service, whenever they try and uh, take on the workers in terms of their terms and conditions, uh, we're there arguing for the unity between NHS workers and NHS service users. Between us, between the service users and the service workers, we can, we can take them on, whether it be Kershaw or the other Kershaws, uh, all the way along the coast from Hastings and Eastbourne through to Worthing and Chichester. We can take them on and we can defeat them. The, the unity of service workers, NHS service workers and NHS service users. However, I, I have to say that uh, the, the campaign has not been without its problems. Uh, there has been references to the struggle uh, at the uh, Sussex County Hospital around Christmas time where, where the GMB took the bull by the horns and actually threatened industrial action, balloted for industrial action and basically forced Sodexo to, the to come to the negotiating table. Uh, unfortunately there are Unison members involved in that dispute as well, but Unison were singularly absent from that, that dispute. They were not visible and this of course is a cause for concern. Unison members might want to ask uh, their full-time officers why it is that they have not been more uh, upfront and more visible with regards to that campaign. Uh, nationally, we're still waiting for the TUC to organise a, a national demo in, in uh, defence of the NHS. Many of you will remember November 2011, down here, 10,000 workers across the country. Uh, there was a, a national strike, a uh, fantastic display of opposition to this condemned government. And we were promised a national demonstration the following year. And here we are in 2013, still waiting for it. I won't, I won't refer, I won't even talk about the general strike, although apparently the TUC is considering it. Well, it's time that they did more than bloody consider it. It's time they did more to build it, to actually promote it, to make it happen and as a consequence topple this government and that's what's required. We need a general strike to topple this government and we need to keep on forcing the TUC, uh, to, to, to forcing the TUC and uh, the constituent unions to call for that 
general strike. And I don't think it should be confined to one day, although I'll settle for it initially. Uh, and also, I do feel that uh, Steve Bassam should be having a word with Ed Miliband, because quite honestly, Ed Miliband should be concentrating his fire on the, on the condemned government and not trying to divide us by playing the Tories game of divide and rule and blaming Romanians and Bulgarians and people from other countries who are legitimately coming here to work as, as people from this country go elsewhere to legitimately work. We should not be defining ourselves, we should not be playing the Tories game, splitting our forces on, on, on racial lines or any other lines. There should be an attempt to unite the resistance and that's what we call upon all the constituent uh, organisations of the Labour and Trade Union movement to do. In the meantime, Defend the NHS will be uh, continuing to organise locally. We will be continuing to campaign against the Kershaw in, in Brighton and the other Kershaws across the south. And we will be continuing to uh, impose upon the clinical commissioning groups, the, the people who take responsibility for delivering the services, not to tender them out, not to play the Tories game, to stick with the NHS, to keep the NHS as a, a, a public service and we would, I, would, I would urge you all to sign up for, for Defend the NHS and we'll keep the campaign going and we will defend our service and we will not let the Tories of the NHS bosses carve it up. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot Steve. Great campaigner. Um, with the support of people like Steve we know full well we will fight them and we will beat them.